Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I came upon this photo that I saw on the internet that I thought was pretty cool looking. And um, so I've never had to draw one of these things. So I, I drew it last night. Uh, now I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. So let's get to it. So this is, I don't have no measurements. I'm just guessing at everything. But you know, when you're there, it's real easy to measurements or nothing okay so let, let's let me show you how to do this okay so um let me close this guy here and we're gonna start from scratch okay and remember a lot of this stuff is just basically guessing <clears throat> uh let me go to 1d i'm gonna just delete everything start from scratch i don't want no okay go to main level delete that basement Okay, so, you know, you're going to have to have three levels. You're going to have to have a basement, main level, and the roof. Okay, so, let me make sure I don't have nothing on any one of them. So, no. Okay, so, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and create the basement. Okay, so, if I go to the basement, my basement level, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to hit R for room. Okay, and I'm going to make it, the exterior, I'm going to make it 50 feet wide. I'm going to call this basement. Then I'm just going to collapse this as far as I can. Uh, I'm going to go in here, select this wall, this wall. <clears throat> Let me make sure this is collapsed. No, you see it wasn't collapsed as far as it was. Okay, so click this wall, this wall. <clears throat> hit control enter to go to my properties on my arch walls i'm going to say y for yes i'm going to click on the top wall move it and i want to move this <clears throat> actually 24 feet and uh 10 inches because there is four inches right here so it's 25 divided by excuse me 50 divided by 2 minus uh four inches so that's basically where i'm getting that 24 10. okay now i'm going to go down here i'm going to get this again 24 10. now that should be a pretty close to a perfect circle I'm, right now i'm not i'm not looking to make it perfect 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 uh, i am going to uh, rotate this uh, just a hair so i'm going to free rotate and okay that way the uh my doors and windows don't get in my way okay so now usually on a basement usually uh the ceiling is going to be seven foot tall okay so that that right there created my basement now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to my main level i'm going to duplicate that same room into my main level by if I click on this click from underlayment lay, I'm going to click here and it, I just duplicated it right on top of each other. So if you go to all levels now, you see I got two of them. Okay. Because I got the basement main level. See. Okay. Now, so I'm back to the basement. So now, so let's bring this, uh, photo back here give me a second here so let me enlarge it as far as i can so this is what we're looking at now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create this guy here so i got one two three four five six seven eight risers right so i'm going to go to staircase and i'm going to go eight right so two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna create the uh, the landing. And I'm gonna escape. Okay, so uh, the landing, I really need to make it about six two, because I'm gonna put a, a five, five foot sliding door on one side of it. So let's say five, six two. And like I said, when you're down there, you're going to 
use different measurements. So we'll go ahead and make this one 62 also. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is grab the staircase and rotate it. So I'm going to hit tab one time. And you see it's a little too much. So that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it. You see, it's not going to let me go all the way. Okay, so I'm going to just put it about right there. And I want this distance and this this one to be almost the same, right? So if I enlarge this area, I go to free rotate. Then I'm able to, well, I have this thing selected. Now, look, if I let go of my shift key, it rotates at 22.5 degree uh, increments, right? But if I hold my shift key, I can rotate it at any one degree increments as I want. So that kind of looks pretty even there. Now I'm going to try to get this as close as I can to my wall right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this guy here, this wall, this wall. I'm going to hit control enter to get to my properties on my arch wall. I'm going to tell it yes. Okay, so now I can arc this arch this. So if I if I move this over this way a little bit, I can go in here and you see I'm kind of just slapping it right there against that wall, right? So give me a second here. Right there. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Since this is already arched, I'm gonna click here. I'm going to grab this guy, and I do try to keep it lined up. If you notice at the bottom, I, I line it up. so that, that, Okay, so that's not enough art, arch, art. So give me a second here. I will move it up a little bit. Go right in here, and there we go. Uh, let's go right there. Okay, now I can just move this guy over to the as close as I can to the wall. Do the same thing here. Uh, let's move it over a little bit because it looks like I can go up here just a hair. You see? Okay, now let's move this as close as I can. That's good enough for government's work. Okay, now uh, at this point, if you wanted to, so you know, from here to here, we have three feet, right? So let's say you want to make this three feet and art, art this uh, other wall. So I'm going to click here, change this to a three. I'm going to write, well, uh, let's go to art walls on properties, say yes, and then we'll just art. Now, this, let me show you what we got. Okay, so this thing is going to be higher than the um, than the door. So here, first of all, let, let's go ahead and put a door right here on, on this room here. So I'm going to hit uh, D for door. I'm going to make it at least five feet. Uh, five feet, close enough. I'm not, I'm not trying to get real accurate. I'm going to hit control control enter to get to my properties and the type of door I want if you type SS you, it goes straight to sliding door right SS oh S there you go and hit enter now you got a sliding door okay so and then I'm gonna put a window right in here right so I'm gonna hit W for window and boom that way people can see inside the room now before I even go to 3D, I can tell you that this room or, or, or the um, landing is probably one third or half away inside the window. So let me show, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna hit 3D. Now you see, look at the landing. The landing is higher than the uh, the door. Okay. Now you see right now I have this as an interior. Uh, staircase right because I have all those walls we don't need walls on the outside so I'm gonna select here 
I'm going to hit control in to go to my properties. I am going to go in and you see where it says exterior. I'm going to say yes. Hit enter. That will remove the, uh, that will remove your wall ceilings. Now, at this point, because I don't have a wall, I can get closer to, to my uh, uh, big room that I just created. So the 3D, see, I mean, I'm pretty close. In, you see but I could get closer to it okay so let me show you how to do that now that I don't have a wall I can hold my shift key slap it right there uh, arch this a little bit oops more so I can get this guy and move it there now I can get this and boom uh, let's go ahead and do this here click right there and now you're real close to that uh to the um window or the room okay so <clears throat> now the last thing we have is that remember this staircase is on top of the the uh door right so i'm gonna look at my properties on the staircase you see where it says thread base height i'm gonna hit control c i'm gonna go to well, okay first i want to select this guy well did the whole thing so by selecting here control enter floor height i'm gonna hit control v what i just pasted and on the above i'm gonna hit a b for below now i'm gonna hit 3d show all and boom now the one thing we want to do with this is go in here and I, I want to put some um, uh, railings around here, right? So if I click on this wall, click on this wall, click on this wall, hit control enter right here where it says railing. I'm going to put Y for yes, hit 3D and there you go. And then there's my basement. How y'all like that? Okay. Now. Uh, just for grins, we'll go ahead on the on the basement. Uh, so, see, right here at the bottom, there was a couple of little windows, right? But it's way real low, bit below the uh, <clears throat> like it's <clears throat> real low, okay, and small. So let's go back to the Exactimate. I'm gonna hit W for window. I'm going to create one of the windows. Unfortunately, whenever you have an art, art wall, you can not hit two for 2D, but you know you can hit three and go in here. I don't like to alter it like this, but uh, I usually use 2D. But okay, so I'm going to move this guy over down and I'm going to move this guy over down. Eh. I like that, right? So I'm going to hit, uh, let's move it up. up just a hair. Okay, so um, remember, this is the basement. So I'm going to hit 1 for 1D. I like the uh, properties on that window. I'm going to hit Control C, Control V. I'm going to hit, click here to paste it in there. Now I'm going to go 3D so you, so you can see what I just did. I just duplicated that window. Now I'm going to go back to 1D. I'm going to, uh, oh. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, I put it in the wrong. Um, I did that on the main level. I forgot to rename this. I'm going to call this round room. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit control. C, go to my basement, hit control, control V, paste one window there, control V, paste another window there, go to my main level, delete that window, delete that window, then I'm going to place, uh, uh, like I said, you see you got one, two, three, four, five windows, so let's go to the Xactimate, I'm going to hit W for window, and I'm just going to make it 
that size. I'm not even measuring. So if I hit, so let's make it five. Okay, so five wide. So now I'm gonna hit Control C, Control V. I'm gonna hold my Control key so I can just click, click, click. I'm just placing windows. Okay. Uh, go to. <clears throat> now we're gonna go to 3D. Show all. <clears throat> okay now you see now you see how how this looks these windows are almost always to, uh not always almost to the top remember we duplicated that bottom room and the bottom room was seven feet tall so we have to go into our properties and the ceiling height we want to make it eight okay now if you hit 3d now the windows look more uh you see you have space up there so this is what it's looking like okay go back to 1d save what i'm doing now we're going to do the roof so i'm going to it's only going to take a few seconds to finish this this thing so we got the roof now we have this thing that uh that the outline right <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, let me go to the main level, and I am going to um, go in here. I'm going to hit my S for, uh, it's called, um, what is that thing? Snap line. So if I hit S, I can put a slap, uh, snap line there, reduce it. Come down here, enlarge this area as far as I can. Hit S again. Then I'm going to slap the guy right there. Reduce this. Now I'm going to come down here on this side and create a snap line there too. S and get as close as I can to the, to the end. Go down. Come to this side. Hit S. Okay, now that gives me some guidelines, right? So that I can place, you see, here's the center of the the room. So let's go to room, uh, roof. <clears throat> to do a round roof, what you want to do is go to roof, uh, dormer, no, excuse me, turret, right? And I'm going to place that guy right in the center. That's why I drew that. If I hit my. No, I don't want to hit my space bar because it's going to deselect that. So I'm hitting my arrow keys. And I am going to try to center this as close as I can. And that. It, you see, I'm. I'm um, using that middle one to center up and down. Now I'm going to release. Okay. Now. Right now, this is giving me 16, uh, uh, 12 uh, segments. See, if you count these things, you got F1 all the way to 12. That's a, that's a 12. <clears throat> the highest you can go in segments is 32. Now, if you can't remember that, all you have to just, on your segments, you see you got 12, just put 100, and it's going it, to, it's going to, Push it down to 32 because that's how many segments we want because look we don't want it choppy right it doesn't look smooth so the the highest we can go is 32 segments boom now you have a round um round uh roof okay now here's the next thing <clears throat> you see the radius how it's six you know the radius is from the center of radius usually means from the center of a round uh, room to the outside so remember we had uh, <clears throat> we had 50 so you divide 50 divided by 2 is 25 now we have the overhang is 16 you divide that into those are inches divide that by 8 now that gives you uh, 16 16 
eight inches so we need 25 feet and eight inches and that's gonna center it's gonna spread out all the way to the exterior so hit enter and there you go now if you hit 3d come on baby oh it might want to okay here we go 3d show all give it a second to render because you know you have a lot of segments there ba boom if, now one last thing we have to do okay so remember look there's another roof up there on top of this roof is there right so i'm going to hit 1d again oh excuse me uh alt tab go back to my uh Exactimate, and I'm going to put another roof right here. But before I actually place it in the center, let me caution you something. So we're going to go in and go back to the roof. We're going to put put another roof next to it. Now let me show you what's going on. If I hit 3D, see, if I put this guy down here, we're going to lose it, and it's going to be hard to find it. So what I need to do is grab this guy and move him over you, you see that little oops you see that little triangle you see if i hover right on top of it it turns into four uh like like a like a what do you call that thing uh like a uh plus sign okay so if i left click i'm gonna move it up Okay, you see, I moved it up, so parallel to that is higher than this, so I don't lose it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to 1D. I'm going to go ahead, and I don't want to put all those um, 32 uh, segments, because it'll be easier for me to line it up at this point. So watch what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to grab this guy, and I'm going to go and try to center it as close as I can that looks like that's center we're gonna go up and see if it's centered okay looks here let me move it around and no it wasn't center let's see that's centered right there okay now I can go ahead hit control enter and I am going to the segments. I'm going to turn it to 32. That way it'll smooth it out. Okay. Now, let me save this because this is a lot of things we just did. Now, let's reduce this. Let's go. Oh, before I even render all of them i'm gonna hit 3d you see what's going on this one here is sitting at 12 the slope is 12 because i didn't enlarge it so it didn't change the slope uh so the slope should be around three and now you see you change the slope and i want to kind of move it down a little bit because that's way too high so i'll just Grab that thing again, go down about this far. It takes a couple of seconds for it to, you know, you move it and you can't see it until you kind of release it. So give it a second. See, it's taking its time. The One of the biggest things is that I'm using uh, a bunch of monitors and this might be a little too low right no that's uh, yeah let's move it up just a hair i'm just gonna and then that's it i'm not gonna if i was there i would be measuring how tall that is but i'm not there to measure it so and it looks like that's it guys as soon as this thing finished rendering so Okay, yeah, that's that's perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna hit Control minus to center it. I'm gonna show all. Uh, I'll show you a few tricks on how to, um, if you want to look at things, you know, 
uh, some people have a lot of problems kind of to show um, certain views. Okay, so let me show you a couple of tricks. Okay, so if if you're on 3D and you're trying to show something, you know, watch how this, you see how that snaps? Once it snaps into line, all you have to do is like go, click to the left and look, it, 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 it all go you see you can see all the elevations right and then you can click at this angle now let's say that you wanted to see all the angles at this all the elevations at this angle if I look at this thing that I'm moving around okay so I want to rotate this at a, like a 360 but I don't want it to go up like this up and down right I want it to all look like this when I go all the way around this thing I want to use this thing as an alignment so that I don't go up and down so look I'm gonna left click and as long as I keep it parallel to it you see how I can keep that angle and go through all my uh, my elevations see I can go and do a 360 because if I do this, you see it moves around. So I kind of use this as an alignment for me to see um, all my elevations to see what I'm doing. Uh, so that's it, guys. This is how you do a round room with room uh, with uh, staircases. Uh, you're uh, arching, arching the staircase. Uh, you know, you're moving the staircase exactly to the, uh, see, if you walk in here, it goes right into the door, the staircase. Thank you for watching my video. I have over 100 videos that teaches Xactimate, Symbility. Uh, there's things, uh, I got some videos on drones. I have a drone. I got my drone license. I uh, teach uh, things about Excel, Word. Uh, I know about uh, let's say 25 different programs but this is one of my favorite programs that I use because I'm an adjuster and this is what we use in the field thank you for watching my video I hope you like this if you do please uh, put a like on here become a subscriber you'll see a bunch more uh, videos thank you